So, do you remember that video that we did two years ago, running down the street? Um, did quite well. Someone's just taken it, um, taken a 10 second clip of it, and reposted it on TikTok. Now it's going viral. Millions and millions of views. Our video. They stole it. Who are they? Isn't that crazy? It's got, it's already got, it's going, it's, it's got millions of views. It's, it's, it's just growing. Um, and we're not credited. Everyone thinks it's uh, this accounts, this anonymous accounts. So what are you going to do? I think I'm going to try and find them. Okay. Are you f serious? What you do when someone is using your videos without your permission? Today I'm kind of pissed off. Uh, they ripped my video point for point. You're putting someone else's videos and claiming it to be yours? Yes, a church did steal one of my videos. The Bible is very clear about not only you shouldn't steal, but also paying someone their fair wage for their works. On the other hand, I am a Christian. They are liable for copyright infringement. You like jazz? We're at the client's house. The wife is home. I can see her car from here. So now we play the wedding game. Hey, Hugh. Hello, how are you doing? If you were trying to find someone who was anonymous on the internet, how would you go about doing that? Well, what do you mean by anonymous? You need something to put a puzzle together a little bit. Give me a date of birth. Where was he born? Give me some clue. You know, give me something. Yeah, when did he go to bars? Says, yeah, he likes to hang out with his friends. It's part of the process. a lot of legwork to try to find this guy. I found out he's got a gaming account on uh, this thing called Roblox, which is um, like a social media platform for for gamers. Yeah, that's good. See, that, that's how you do it. You could walk into that area and even ask people about it. It's amazing what people will tell you uh, by simply asking. So um, how can I, how can I help you? What do you want to know about me? So, firstly, I'd love to know how you got started with your meme page. 
So I'm 26 now. I was working full time as an accountant. Um, and I quit my job at the start of the year. I don't think I expected it to become what it did. Probably one of the biggest UK based platforms that there is at the moment. What do you feel about memes being, for example, the Boris Johnson video being taken and taken and ripped and ripped and ripped? When I first started, it was very frustrating um, seeing my memes being either recreated and then going viral on someone else's page. There's hundreds, maybe even thousands of memes that I've created which have been ripped off and recreated and they still go viral to this day. Um, but I quickly come to the realisation that it is just part of the culture. Getting upset about your content being used isn't going to get you anywhere. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll, think about, I'll think about that. Thanks for your time. What am I doing? Scallion. Getting upset about the content being used isn't going to get you anywhere. Can't be waiting for infringement. What? In my head. You like jazz? I can't find them. Who? This stupid meme thief. I, I can't find him anywhere. Yeah. Really bumming me out to take someone's video. It's quite a personal thing, isn't it? But have you seen all these other videos, all these other TikToks that have been inspired by our video. What? They've remade the clip that was on TikTok originally, the one you've been chasing, but they put them and their friends running down the street instead, or an animation or Lego figures. There's hundreds of them. Really? Can you send them to me now? Sure. Thanks. You created an internet moment, you. you. Made a lot of people happy in a, a pretty dark time. This is about more than you. Whether you own it or not, does it really matter? You've given joy to others, part of something, part of a community. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe all right. Can you, um, can you do the voice, um, one more time? You, you bloody rapscallion! <laughs> Thanks. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? <laughs>
the reason why I'm chatting with you is because you have taken my video. I remember when you messaged me about that, I think. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Oh my gosh, like, because it was, I made it and obviously did not expect it to go anywhere. And then I got a message saying, oh, I did that. And I do, I did feel awful because obviously I didn't make that video, but I've got all like, all the likes from it. I was like, oh gosh, what do I do? Do I delete it? <laughs> What's funny? It was so weird. I was just refreshing my page and it kept coming through and I'm, I'm screenshotting everything. I probably got all the screenshots still where I'm sent to my friend being like, like what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> it must've been quite a big, a big event. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was telling everyone, even at work, I was like, oh, look what I've just done on TikTok. And then they're telling their kids and things like that. It was quite funny. So me and my boss are having a great chat about it. <laughs> she, she was well impressed. I mean, have you seen all the different people like recreating the meat? I've seen them on mine and it's just like little kids like laughing at it. So, it's so sweet. And that's surely positive. Like if you like find yourself smiling, and you're like, oh, this has actually really picked up my mood. Like, yeah, so hopefully that's kind of <laughs> come out of that. Yeah. I can do that worm thing. On the floor? On the floor, that's it. I can't, I'm not even going to explain it. I don't even know how to do hopefully we'll chat soon definitely thank you thank you so much for doing this Thank you.